I didn't feel that I was confined, although there were fences, you know, I know there's places that beyond which I could not go. So, so there are a lot of sad stories here, too. I'm uh, Robert Hong. I um, came to the United States uh, in 1936 uh, when I was 11 years old. I was uh, alone, but I, and then I was detained at Angel Island as uh, all uh, immigrants had to do. My first experience of San Francisco was we went to Chinatown and my cousin who came picked me up, he took me to a Chinese restaurant. We went upstairs and the first thing I had was a cup of coffee. I never had coffee before. The, the aroma and the taste with the cream and sugar, you know, it stays with me to this day. Yeah. When I first came to Stockton, it was in 1936, I was here because some of my cousins, they were bachelors, they were vegetable peddlers, so they need someone to take care of the place. And then later on, I went to stay with an American family. They taught me English where I was deficient, and although I was just an employee, but they treated me very uh, kindly. So I had my first taste of generosity of American people. In the uniforms of Uncle Sam, Close to my 18th birthday, I was already in high school. I looked at my life at that time, that time and I decided, you know, I, I didn't like the future. I wound up as an area gunner in the 15th Air Force. And luckily, uh, by the time I got overseas, the war was almost over. I was on a 30-day pass. I, I was hitchhiking. Back in the early 40s, although we're in time of war, you know, people are still uh, uh, human, you know, the humanity uh, uh, was there. The world will note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war, in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. So. Since I was already back in the United States, you know, I was discharged at the end of 1945. First day we went out to San Francisco, Forbidden City. And then we stopped going out for a little while. A year later we got married. My name is uh, Mi Yoke. I've known Bob for 56 years. This was through Bob that I uh, heard of Angel Island, and he mentioned it off and on like that. And it's through Bob that our children know about Angel's Island. Only much later when I know that what I went through was, uh, was a systematic uh, discrimination uh, against the Chinese. We need to know the history, good or bad. Bob always volunteered for things like that. And then I was too busy raising a family and I worked, so I never got involved and volunteered until I retired. We're at the uh, Hilton Hotel in Stockton. It's a party, it's a movie for me, you know, for my birthday party. You know, this is a great way to have a party because I didn't have to do a thing. My kids just say, just show up. So I, that's, I show up. We are dependent on each other, we are connected to each other. So tonight, give us a feeling how it is to be uh, a human being, to be connected to other people. Once to acknowledge that without my wife, without me, I would have been nothing. <laughs> There are many things that I would like to do, and I just to quote a favorite um, poet of mine, you know, um, I have promised to keep miles to go before I sleep. So, uh, so there are still things, you know, I, I want to do, I need to do.